So Andrew, what are viewers asking you about today? So everybody's asking about El Nino, and that's the subject this morning. This is from Tom in Burlington. How long is El Nino expected to last? It's been a while since we've talked about an update on this, so I want to show you some interesting trends heading especially into 2024. So what this is showing you is the probability of in red El Nino conditions, in blue La Nina conditions, or in gray or black here, neutral conditions, none. So we know for certain, yeah, we're in El Nino right now and it's gonna continue through at least the winter. But as we get into spring, El Nino conditions begin to subside, will likely go into neutral conditions for the summer. But look at this, by next fall and next winter, La Nina is sneaking right back up here. Now, the fact that El Nino will be coming to a conclusion here by the upcoming spring, especially the summer, means a couple of things, and I'll explain more about this at WQED.com, but real briefly, it means we're likely to see a little bit less in the way of severe weather for the upcoming spring season. So this is something you'll want to read, and I'll have the full thing up just before GMQC at 11 at WQED.com. Definitely some correlations to what 2024 could hold for us here in the Quad Cities. We're going to be tracking some of these strong winds and when they're going to subside next.